Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday the 26th of September where I take just one of our signals from our stocks scanner membership and set it up for you as an example. So in the members area we get potential long and fifth wave trade for our members on the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frames both long and short and today I want to look at the long trade. So in the members area we click on there and 26 September potential long fifth wave trades we click on the image and download the spreadsheet the spreadsheet looks something like this for today I can see at the bottom the tabs the weekly daily and 60 minute time frame and looking at the daily time frame today these are the potential fifth wave trades setting up on the daily time frame for today the 26th September I'm going to take a look at one of those now and I'm going to take a look at CVNA on the daily time frame. This is the Ninja Trader version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. It's also available for TradeStation, MultiCharts, and in a minute I'm going to show you the Think or Swim version. First of all, I've isolated the wave count with our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite down here on these lows during this range bound period here around about February 2018. And as you can see, we've had a long move up now. And it's this wave four that we're really interested in now uh, and measuring that. So let's go to the exploded view on the Think or Swim. So this is the same, same chart, different uh, platform, but the same indicator suite here. As you can see, the wave four has found support and rejected on Monday uh, in into our green zone now this green zone represents an 85% probability if support is found in here and it starts to move back up through our six four moving average high is an 85% probability it's going to go on and make that new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue around about $78 there uh, so that's the first instance that we use for our uh, stock scanner membership as well. We've got that wave four pullback against the main trend and it's in one of our automated probability zones there. The next thing is the behavior of this wave four. And the first of the two subcharts here is the 535 oscillator. Now this has pulled back between 90 and 140% sitting around zero at the moment. So that's good behavior on the wave four. And also now the stochastic, the, the lower of the two subcharts, we've got a false breakout bar at the top in the over, over, overbought zone there, sorry. That denotes a really strong bullish trend. And what's happened is it pulled back against there and crossed over in the oversold zone. The likelihood is it wants to go back and go to that main bullish trend again. So we, we, we use these indicators to form our initial scans. For the day and this is setting up pretty well got that rejection on the wave four now we've got to be sensible with the entry here so we want to make sure we're outside of the six four moving average high for today's bar position where the green line is here this is the entry the green hash line this green hash line is above all of this noise here plus also above this left shoulder that could that could form the head and shoulders pattern there so we're we're sensible Conservative entry above the whole $64 mark, $64.12 is the entry. Stop loss below the wave four. So the stop loss is around about $56.57, something like that, uh, below the wave four. That gives us a risk to reward to 1 to 1.6 to the bottom end of that target zone. In reality, to the middle to $78, 1 to 1.8, something like that. So great risk to reward sensible entry looks like it, the this wave four profit taking pullback has found exhaustion we had a great rejection on on monday consolidation yesterday and again if it moves out of this range from this support level through our entry it's got an 85 percent probability of going on and making that new wave five high so that's it for today have a great trading day speak to you all tomorrow